Welcome back to Owning It. I'm here with Curtis, and what are we doing in this action-packed episode? We're getting our brush on. We are getting our brush on. So for this job, we're going to need paint, a sanding block or fine grit sandpaper, an angled trim brush, painter's tape, enough drop cloths to protect your flooring and furniture, safety goggles aren't a bad idea, and neither is an old hat, unless you happen to like the painted hair look. Good times. An angled brush like this one is great for those hard to reach areas like deep corners. It also works very well for trim areas like this one. But before you start slinging paint, you want to make sure you lightly sand and clean all the surfaces you'll be painting because dirt-free surfaces help paint stick better. As you can see, we've already taped off this molding here. Actually, I already taped off the molding. That's because you're awesome at it. Well, that's true. Careful taping keeps lines straight and also keeps unwanted paint off the walls. Now, if you want to be extra cautious, choose tape that's an inch and a half wide. And gloss or semi-gloss are the best sheens of paint to use on trim. Brush technique is all about minimizing lines in the paint. So you do this first by making sure you cover the area completely and evenly with shorter strokes and then going over everything with long upward strokes like that. Secondly, you want to consult the manufacturer's guidelines to determine how long it will take for the paint to dry in case a second coat of paint is needed. Lastly, peel off your tape soon after painting because that will make removal a lot easier. So once you finish painting your trim, you are ready to get rolling. Having a home is just a start. We can help you own it. See you in a couple clicks.